is this is random stuff with Alex Hughes and today I want to talk about utilizing resources um, so I was going to Cal State San Marcos um, for the spring uh, semester this year and uh, I was taking two classes um, because that's what I could do on uh, my budget and uh, that was part time so uh, I got rid of my dance class because I definitely I didn't expect what uh, I was getting um, when it came to dance you know I actually took dance um, during the fall last fall and I actually enjoyed it I, I learned so much more about uh, dance than I had I never known before uh, the history of dance and uh, how uh, there's a lot of uh, European influences, along with um, uh, if you speak, if you talk about like uh, American, it's uh, so many different influences from all sorts of cultures. But this class was very um, political. I was so uh, shocked at what was said. It just didn't seem like art, you know. It seemed more like. Um, how could I say like uh, like social justice? That's what it sounded like. And for me, I I didn't want to uh, I c I couldn't imagine going to class every week and uh, talking about that. It definitely would test my limits. I would say. So I ended up with one class, and I realized, man, I'm paying a pretty penny for this one class. So I might as well uh, utilize as many resources on campus as possible. So I realized um, through the last semester that uh, my school offers so many different things to help students out. That tuition money uh, definitely goes to a lot of different places. So one of the coolest things on campus for business students um, was a lot of the career center um, uh, services. So there was uh, what was called the Cougar Closet and you could pick out free uh, professional business clothes and I ended up uh, getting two blazers but uh, maybe I should have tried those on because they were a little too big for me. Um, but uh, that w that's a cool service though, you know, free clothes. Um, another thing they have is, you know, prep for um, like um, interviews they have uh, online services um, along with resume checks and LinkedIn uh, checks uh, where you could send in your LinkedIn profile or your resume cover letter and they could take a look at it and um, you know give you advice uh, how to edit it and make it look more professional so I've yet to use the LinkedIn one um, but I did use the resume and I have to say that that's how I got that must have been how I got my uh, uh, following jobs because uh, you know I scored and so that was a great resource um, free on campus another um, one was um, a lot of the technology you can check out so I, I don't own a, an iPad um, or um, I think it was a small Dell laptop you know with like Windows 10 on it um, I'm actually still using Windows 7 which I think is a pretty solid operating system apart from uh, maybe my setup but um, I I definitely thought it was cool to be able to use iPads you know I've never used one before actually I think I think I might have used it at school or something but this is cool you could take it home with you and um, it was great because I could you know work on my laptop and listen to YouTube and uh, you know the screen resolution's great um, it's very easy to use to some extent um, you know the graphical interface is nice um, and so that was definitely a benefit. Another thing was the a DSLR camera that I was able to check out. I actually haven't been able to use a regular digital camera for a while because I haven't bought a brand new battery for the one that I was using. So uh, it was cool to be able to check out another camera. Um, another thing that I was able to uh, check out are board games. You know, I mean, we have quite a few at home, but I got to try some games that you know, I always heard about as a kid growing up, but never really had the chance to play like Monopoly. You know, that's like um, something that's just a classic board game. And I never, I've never played Monopoly before as far as I'm concerned. I know we had some, you know, uh, 
uh, Monopoly dollars and stuff laying around, but this time I got to play with it. I got to do uh, Sushi Go, which uh, I like the idea of the game. However, the concept uh, wasn't as easy to understand as I'd imagined. Um, Life, the game of life was uh, really fun. Another classic board game. Clue um, was another one. I like the uh, characters that they have. Um, other than that, I... Uh, I played quite a lot. I brought, I was carrying that home, uh, you know, the hall. I got about three days. Uh, the library has a great amount of resources. Um, it's not like what you'd find at, you know, your public city library. This is, you know, academic material that uh, some of the prices of these uh, movies are crazy, like hundreds of dollars for these movies. And, you know, I was checking out a whole bunch, um, mostly about drug prevention and tobacco control and uh, some sociology programs. And, you know, I, I learned a lot. Um, I got to see that movie Bully. Um, which was pretty intense. I, I hope they didn't script that, you know, but, um, wow. Yeah. It reminded me of some stuff that I experienced back in middle school. Um, but it was fairly, uh, realistic and there was some programs about, um, like the tobacco industry and how they use, um, what is it? How they use like commercials and uh, magazine inserts and whatnot, like billboards. And I was so surprised to see how far we've come. Uh, a couple about uh, um, drugs and uh, law enforcement. And um, I also, uh, the cool thing is that there's also a streaming service um, through uh, Cal State San Marcos. And I was able to watch some uh, movies, mostly educational, academic, but I learned a lot you know, and that was another great resource on campus. Um, they also have a media production studio where you can, you know, record your SoundCloud music. Um, I never got the chance, but I got to check out the studio. It was cool. There's like a TV place. There's audio recording studio. Um, it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more than what I have here at home, you know, and uh, it was super cool to check that out. Um, another thing that I noticed on campus as a resource, um, were events you know i i didn't really take advantage of job fairs or um even meeting with uh the professors or um those uh teachers on campus and for me um i was starting to explore actually trying to set up some meetings and uh learning from uh those uh, that have the knowledge and so that's why I was trying to take advantage of that. And I'm still trying to, you know, set up some meetings and, uh, you know, learn from the people that have that experience. Maybe I can uh, use that in my future um, for the clubs that I'm in or professionally. And um, so it was, it was great to be able to explore stuff on campus. Um, I think it does take some effort. Um, aside from school, but if you're going part-time, you know, you have the time, you know, to uh, maybe check out some stuff on campus. You know, you pay a pretty penny, especially if you go to university, so you might as well take advantage of what they give you as a result of your tuition money. And uh, some of that stuff will advance your knowledge, you know. Um, if you take advantage of it, you know, you might learn something new, you might meet new people and um, build a better connection with the campus community and uh, um, expand your opportunities later on because you know uh, I was uh, learning about how it's not w what you know it's who you know and so I do agree with some sense uh, that you know knowing people is important especially when it comes to those opportunities because you know sometimes they might uh, mention something in a conversation and you'll be like wait a minute that's something that I want to do and so you can build your relationships through there and um, be able to uh, go from there and so but I'd like to add that resources are also where you live um, I started realizing this uh, maybe in the um, kind of stemming what I learned back in high school about environmental sustainability and how you want to use what you have and trying to uh, reduce the waste and so in this sense I was thinking about how I have resources at home uh, whether it be as simple as, you know, paper and, you know, stickers or, you know, art supplies or, 
you know, tools or um, the list goes on and on. And the reality is, um, you know, thanks to myself being young and, you know, living at my uh, grandparents' home, you know, I have uh, the resources of uh, many generations. And it's all about utilizing what you have around you to create something new. And uh, that's what I'm doing with my artwork uh, is an example of that ideology is that I'm utilizing, uh, you know, trash or scraps or, you know, the broken pieces of stuff that would probably go in the landfill. And I'm creating pieces of artwork through it, not necessarily as a, uh, um, you know, a message, just rather like uh, here's what you can do with it. Uh, you know, why not utilize what you have around you? Uh, the same goes with composting, you know, uh, throwing out the trash and uh, recycling what you can, donating what you can, um, and utilizing my resources comes into play, especially when I'm uh, cooking something, you know, I'm, I have all these ingredients, how am I going to use them to create a, a wonderful dish? Um, or it could be like, oh, wow, I have, you know, a laptop computer. I mean, what software can I put on here to enhance um, the way I do things or maybe learn something? And so um, by utilizing the resources you have around you, frankly, if just look around the room you're in. Uh, what can you use the things that you have uh, maybe for the future or what you want to do? You know, maybe it's a, a piece of paper. You can turn that into origami and uh, maybe you can give that origami to somebody. Or maybe it's... Um, you know, like wrapping paper, which I have in front of my face. But yeah, you can utilize that and you can uh, create an art project out of it or you can make something useful. Or you can think about, um, you know, maybe a pencil. What can you write with it? What can you, can you draw with it? Can you take some notes? Um, or it could be, um, I have incense because my grandma likes to, you know, uh, light incense. Um, maybe you could utilize that to get rid of mosquitoes. That's actually one of my... Uh, plans that I found, you know, hacks. And, uh, you know, I, you know, we have mosquitoes here during the summer, especially over standing water. And why not utilize uh, those incense for uh, something useful, right? Get rid of those mosquitoes that, you know, West Nile virus or Zika nowadays, anyways. So it's all about looking around you, looking at your house, uh, maybe looking at your job or uh, your, um, you know, school and thinking to yourself, well, what are some resources on campus that are provided to me and how can I utilize that to get to where I want to be? Um, maybe you want to be successful or, you know, uh, um, help out your family or, or something. But it's all about utilizing those resources. Uh, thankfully, we live in a time uh, where there's so much provided to us that we can really get to anywhere we want to go. It's just all about taking that initiative and uh, not sitting around. You know, you got to you got to keep moving forward if you want to see progress you know you got to do something about it you know it's great to think about it but you got to put your words to action so uh, this video uh, was about you know utilizing the resources on campus and uh, some examples of how I've done so and hopefully you've learned something and this is random stuff with Alex Hughes uh, signing off see you guys later